behind some wall. Honestly, just great play from Reason. So uh, we'll see if Druids is up for the challenge here against Sync. They, they've they seen it all, Druids, has so far. You know, their first series, they actually ended up beating, I think it was Dishonored. They beat them 2-0. Uh, then they played Complexity. They split that series 1-1 one -one on Tuesday. And then they just played Reason, and they lost 0-2. So, again, they, they've seen it all so far here in uh, this event. Uh, ultimately, given them, that would be four points, I believe. Uh, Sync, on the other hand, they've... Well, they've been sync. They've been strong. They have not lost a game yet here uh, so far. This is now their third series. They defeated Shrek 2 0. They defeated Dishonored 2 0, as we just saw. Or got an idea of on, at least. But, anyways, now they're playing Druid, so we'll see what happens here. That's kind of the whole gist of that. Joined by uh, St. Rocks once again as my co caster. Yeah. Um, looking forward to, to this one. This should be a fun series here, as, oh, man, we got a Clanks. Wow. So, an extra fun series now. Extra strong. Um, the initial bands, by the way, real quickly. Cthulhu Font, War Beast, Parasite, Moira. I mean, Cthulhu Font banned by Keizu there. That's that's a little interesting. No. Uh, it's, well, it's very interesting, but I've been following, as per, as always, I've been following Sync, and um, Keizu has been playing a lot of Team M, and he has bumped into Iceland Gogo quite a bit, who has happened to practice a lot of Cthulhu Font. Okay. Like, Intense amounts of Cthulhu fans, and Kizu knows about this. So, then, peace out. Okay. Yeah. No. I mean, we he does have history. Like we have seen Iceland Gogo play great Cthulhu fan, no doubt. But, um, you know, I, I will say at the same time, also if you are planning on picking up like an Ophelia, it's a good hero yeah, to take off yeah. the board too. So definitely. Uh, kind of makes yeah. sense there. Which they they're pushing with up. creeps and eating them. Like it just it's like. It's better than Parasite in that sense. Um, so, yeah. I, I think a smart pick up as well by Kisu. Like, he bans Cthulhu Fan. He's like, okay, I ban Cthulhu Fan. Maybe because uh, it's good against Ophelia. Maybe because I know Iceland Gogo plays a good Cthulhu Fan. But now Ophelia is open and it's a good pick. So, yep. he gets it. And, um, I mean, nice plays here. Uh, good, good draft so far. Um, but, I mean... Clanks has a pretty solid record uh, when it comes to win percentage. So I wonder why no one is dealing with the hero. I really do. <laughs> like, he yeah. just goes. That was a third pick, right? Like, Ophelia, Behe, Midas, Andro, Swiftplate, Clanks. Is that how it goes? Yeah, that's how it went exactly how it looks. Yeah. So he's the sixth pick. Yep. Am I wrong here? No, he no, is the sixth you're, pick. You're right, yeah. How? He has. What? <laughs> that's not that's I don't understand that. I mean, I that hero is per definition probably the most winning hero in competitive uh play. Uh I, I don't know if he's the most winningest hero necessarily. I I will say the only team that I think he really warrants just probably should ban him is is Reason. Is is Emma okay. Boys Clanks. Outside of that, I mean, it's it does seem like team I mean Obviously, the weakness of Clanks is that if you jump on him, ideally you should be able to drop him, yeah, you know, preventing yeah. him from hawking and flying away. And, and we definitely have seen that. So, I mean, you look at Sink's lineup. They, they got some pretty good jump right here so far. Um, uh, somewhat. Well, yeah, maybe, maybe not they the greatest. Have some. They have some. They're, they're, I mean, they could definitely use, like, a Pebbles or a Deadwood to just lock that hero down and smack it. But, I mean, if you consider that Swiftblade could be getting the bulky, uh, sure. But yeah, I they they kind of like bubbles is usually the team M counter to a clanks. The team M clankses they don't get shrunken because that's a waste of a form and money. Mm -hmm. uh, so bubbles can lock down clanks for a long time with his ulti. Uh, but in competitive clanks is a little bit cl clankses do get shrunken heads. Um, Slither. Are we seeing an all in push strat here from uh, Legion? I mean. They haven't actually picked Slither, and I highly doubt they are. <laughs> there, but Kisu said on his stream that he likes Slither a lot. I'm just, like, connecting the dots here. Yeah, there's there's some troll there, I guarantee you. Doing it. There's no way Slither's just going to get... It's like... I don't know. Slither's... I'm not saying Slither's a bad hero. It's just... We've, we have not seen even remotely the idea of Slither has not come up in the last year or so. And so it's like to randomly pick him up here would, would, would definitely be a very, very, very 
different pick. But you are right. I mean, they have an Ophelia, so they got a Torture. It's obviously a good support pushing hero, so yeah. it does seem like just, they're leaning towards more of the push style once again. I mean, if we, if there's any validity to Slap's um, right clicks, they're going for a carry that can push. Yeah, Sl Slither definitely brings that to an extent. So, and obviously Defiler could as well somewhat. So, they definitely have a couple of options here in mind. You see the bands, by the way, Lodestone, Rhapsody, Prisoner, Doctor, Magnus, and Oogie. They end with Master of Arms. So, yeah, it's a little anticlimactic there. It's like, uh, yeah. okay. Well. That works, I guess. We can go with that as well, I suppose. Fine. Yeah, yeah. so. Yeah. I'll go with All the right, Master here. He's not a bad hero. By any means, uh, he also has push and counter push with the goo and whatnot. That deals obviously deals a lot of damage, gives minus armor and whatnot. So great for pushing, great for counter pushing. Mm -hmm. Now the last pick on uh, Hellborn side. What are, what are you saying? Who we're we gonna see? Uh, well, you figure they still need probably a suicide at this point. So I don't know. Hmm. Depends on both, right? So Some they're kind of looking for mid or suicide. Yeah. I'd, I'd say. They already got a bit of counter push, actually, so they don't need to stress that necessarily. But, um, you know, I'd like to see, like, a pandemonium, man. Get that locked down for Swift Blade. Panda. Mm. The thing, the problem with Panda is he, he gets, like, the hero needs to go all the way in all the time. And he's not that tanky. Uh, he is tanky, but usually Panda flicks in and then he stuns and. Then he will never ever get off. What? They got the jungle option, so it's gonna be a oh, suicide yeah. behemoth. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Probably. Yeah. Busk is playing. Busk is not suiciding though. No, there we go. Yeah. Still swapping. Okay, suicide behe. There we go. Okay. Well, um, I'm not sure when it got changed, but you're allowed to block with the Fisher now, so you have you have some sort of presence in the suicide lane as behe. Um, get some mana pods, keep blocking waves. You eventually you'll get the lane close enough for you to not die. Mm -hmm. So HP. Um, but yeah, Legionnaire. Ooh. I mean, I think it's safe to say that uh, if Hellborn gets some farm on certain amount of cer certain heroes, they are going to take this game um, quite like easily. But uh, on the other side, it's I things. The name of the game for Sing is gotta be push towers, push them fast, go base, like get ranks before 20 minutes. Yeah, that would be what I expect to see from. Yeah. Again, we saw we saw Provost play Clanks against Complexity, and that's what we're talking about that performance that he had. And it's clearly a hero that he's also comfortable with, and. And one that uh, he's going to try now against Sync Esports. But, yeah, I, again, you, you do look at the team matchups there. Complexity, they prefer to take it longer. So, you know, that's maybe mm -hmm. opened it up a little bit more for Probus to ideally get some more farm and, and whatnot. Whereas Sync, they will not let that happen. They are going yeah. to be aggressive and in your yep. face early on in this game. So uh, it's going to be tough times for Probus to really manage to get a comfortable farming uh, going here. Yeah, I I think he might not even get a good like lane to stay in because, like, they could suicide minus, but they could also um, man up um, jungle with Ophelia, and like I know it sounds a little bit uh, unorthodox, but Legionnaire deals really poorly with a um, a hard camp creep hitting him in the face. Yeah, and um, same go like Ophelia, shift blade and torture top lane. Uh, massive bombs on the bot lane against the bubbles, I assume. No, uh, sorry, Behe. And then minus mid against bubbles. I I'd say you you set yourself up for with some strong lanes. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure that's what they're gonna be doing, but that's definitely an op an option. Yeah. Mm. Let's see. We have Clangs and Rotop top lane. Midas could deal with that. Uh, that means Legion is gonna get farm. That's it. That's that's bad for everyone who's not a Legion team. <laughs> Bubble's going to be mid, and B he is going to be buff lane, getting not so much. Masera choosing to go marchers. Some B he's will get the... Oh, right, you can't do that in this yet. Well, I, I wonder if I he's going to sell it. The... He might not keep the marchers. We'll see. Uh, no, he's selling Okay. Well, I was thinking of the new item, the, the Midas purse or bounty. Oh, Merrick's the bounty. Merrick's bounty. Yeah, yeah but, no, that is, that, that is not available yet. 
Yep. Um, yep. I, I assume when the next uh, big balance patch hits, which should be here in the near future, you know, with a new season around the corner and everything, yeah. that uh, that it is going to become eligible, but uh, don't quote me on that. But that that's one of the many things I do look forward to, obviously, with a, a new season. I mean, that that is going to change things, man. We're going to see supports. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a lot oh, more yeah. wealthy. And that'll that'll definitely have an impact. So, the, oh, good good word from Serenia. Yeah. He knows the jig is up, but it is as I was saying. Uh, tri uh, Strato try and top lane. Ophelia is starting in their jungle. Uh, Minus is probably gonna. Uh, let, let me just. No, see, you know, Master is hitting bottom. I think Minus is gonna hit mid, and and that's gonna be a Strato try and top. I will say Zibby yet again gets his hands on uh, on Midas here, and in both the yep. games we said we cast it on Tuesday, he oh, also oh, he's thanks. playing Midas er, like in nearly every single game in this uh, onslaught two event. It feels like, and uh, he's gonna play it again here against Druid. So that's uh, that's be, that's one thing the teams need to start keeping in mind that giving Midas to Zibby is probably something you want to stay away from. But um, also fun seeing as uh, we haven't really talked about this yet, but of course he's playing against all well, his former team here. I I, I don't know yep. what kind of animosity there is, or if it's just simply like obviously uh, after Dreamhack where they were like, okay, you know, feel free to to do your own thing. And as we're, uh, yeah, I don't think there's here, any bad but... blood between them. Yeah, um, Druids were not happy with the result at Dreamhack. Um, yeah, they were. And um, I I think I think there's absolutely no bad blood there. I. God, even who, think that Sipin might be able to return if he doesn't get the spot. Who did they what get knocked saying? out by? They got knocked out by Complexity, right? I think, yeah, I think so, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. They, they were did. not. That's a tough, they it was some... a tough tournament, man. It really yeah. was, so. I think the only team that, a, that was actually happy with how they were doing were recent gaming. Yeah. And that's understandable as well. They were doing really well. Um, uh, second only... place, not too second shabby. Place, not... Not too yeah, they got to be Sync yeah. Esports as well in a best of three, so that felt good, I'm yeah. sure. So. Exactly. Yeah. Like, well, but it, that's also the only team that hasn't really changed the rosters so far. Yeah. I, I'm not sure what BMG is up to, but uh, they're not in this tournament, right? Uh, they were not. Yeah, though they talked about that on Tuesday a little bit too, is that uh, Bad Monkey Gaming, so we'll hold that thought. Actually, Ophelia is in trouble. This could be a bloodlust. Yeah, they're going to chase her down. Legionnaire running Seven. over, but no charge or anything like that yet, so Ophelia's fine in the end. He also has boots. That helps. Yep. Um, oh, actually, Andromeda now might be in some trouble. Chain reactions hit the boots on Ophelia. They're going to get some good auto attacks here. Oh, he used to stun uh, on the wrong tactic. I still fine, though. Too much distance. But, but now Legionnaire. What is Legionnaire doing? Oh, he's in a bad spot now, so it just kind of continues. As actually, oh, torture chase, but the neutral keeps end up getting the cut. I didn't realize they were still going on him, but... Legionnaire, oh, I mean, he's I, dead. I, it's I, just a matter of can the neutrals kill him or not. <laughs> this is what no, this comes yeah, down yeah, to. Yeah, but also, if he gets some farm here, if he gets level two, perfect. It, 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 it. Oh, hey! my God! <laughs> two guys dying to neutrals. These neutrals oh, are Oh, wow. That's horrible. <laughs> That's fun. So, well, we still do not have a bloodlust kill. Oh, Despite mid lane. Two heroes dying. As Zibbe. I say that, Zimmy gets the bloodlust kill on Probust. Humiliation. And that's got to feel a little good for Zimmy. Get in that some. Is, uh, like, boss cast this playstyle where he killed. can taunt you. As soon as you go into a lane with him, and he will keep taunting you throughout the laning phase. And when Zimmy does something like that, kills him while taunted, oh, it yeah. feels so good. You know, before we really have to stress here is that this is kind of just hitting me. It's actually, holy crap, bottom lane now, Behemoth. He might be in yeah. some trouble. It's actually back to the middle lane. Andromeda and Minus going at it. Minus is trying to get the kill first. It's not going to happen. Zibbe will go down to some revenge for Probusk. But you look at Masera, and that's not going to be looking at it much longer because he's going to be dead. There we go. Slap gets the kill. And it's now a 2-1 hero kill lead. So we actually have Lovely, a pretty action-packed start trouble. here. And apparently it's not stopping as now Bubbles. It's Hax versus Keizu. Uh-oh. Keizu's going to go for the TP. Yes, he will be successful. I didn't song out the C in time. Did uh, Hax. I, I think it's only the one, so it deals like 60 damage. It's yeah. not an attack. Um, but we got to talk about this middle matchup, by the way. Clink's oh, is yeah. middle. What, what, why, why would they put Clink's middle, you think? Um, I think because they anticipated the Trident top, the Sword of Trident top, they wanted to secure Clanks as much farm as possible. Um, and that's one way to do it. Like, Clanks is not a bad one we want her, especially in mid, where he can basically get away from anything. Yeah. Um, and that's why they lane Bubbles top lane. He's very hard to get your hands on. 
And blood lane. Yeah, Behemoth running away. He's going to be fine, actually. Health push and pops. You did see Clank's TP in top, though. <laughs> they realized yeah, yeah, that that wasn't working. No trialing. But yeah, like, uh, you don't want to lane. Usually, you don't want to lane your carry against the trialing. Um, and that's what that's why Bosk was laning mid. Yeah. I got. Yeah, I think I got that cross. Um, Legioner is at minute four, only level four. So he's definitely been hit hard by the Ophelia in his jungle. He could have been level six in, like, 10 seconds. So a play Good top play. lane. He's in trouble. He's choosing not to spin just yet. He will do so right there. Avoid dead. the bang. Here comes the Legion air. That's a double <laughs> damage charge. He's dead. <laughs> he just taps him. Yeah, falls over. So it takes some good tower damage. Yeah. Well done from Iceland, though. That was. It took four people, Jeez. but um, they got a kill. <laughs> Look at Iceland yeah. Gogo. He has three health potions too. <laughs> um. That's yeah. That's. He, um. It's because he's forced to like farm hard camps, and it happens to be a double catman. That is like some some of the worst you can face at Legion. Like catman, they're just no fun. Uh, they deal so much damage, and they're hard to kill. Um, so yeah, he's just health putting up. And now he's gonna take out the stack here. You do see him go on the Striders, uh, famously known as the Zlapped build. That's <laughs> a more recently. Yep. Uh, of course, uh, the first player to ever invent Striders on Legionnaire. No questions definitely. asked. The first, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, he's, he's a notable one that's uh, been doing it in uh, earlier on. Yeah. So. That's worked. He, he made it work. Yeah, Let's he, say he it did. Like that. He, he did. Um, but uh, yeah, so um, now my question is, is he going to be going the bottle here next? Because that's what Zlap usually would go, so. Or is he um, going to go something different? Yeah, not sure. The bottle and then the portal sure shortly after. That. But mid lane, Midas is level 6 against the level 4 bubbles. Poor bubbles. Like he can't, lane. like. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Okay, so the pushing has started. Winter's coming. <laughs> or something. The um, is coming right here. Behemoth, he's going to fish here, block it off a little bit. Decent, pretty decent block there. Um, did a lot of hero damage, actually, from the tower. Anyway, Midas rotating bot. No, okay. Sibit is level 7 at this point. He is pretty far ahead um, compared to his matchup uh, that was previously Clanks and also not Bubbles. Yeah. He's going to have a great time this game. Yeah, I, I mean, and against Clanks, it doesn't... It this seems like that's a pretty favorable match for Midas, right? I, I... Mm, well, you, sh you got to think that Midas has really like low attack range. Clanks has, I think, okay, 100? that's true. So the auto attack, like the the trading yeah. game, is going to be in Clanks' favor, but uh, Midas and his spells. That's where I think like the kill potential, especially, is just so much stronger on Midas, obviously. So, yeah, so looks like we may have lost Saint Rocks for a second. Um, hopefully he'll be back here soon. Anyways, while we wait for him to get back, the match continues, of course. Um, but, uh, yeah, I talked about there with, uh, with the attack range difference. And, I mean, that makes sense, having 100 more attack range. But, yeah, Midas just having that kill potential, especially in the hard hitting. I believe he hits a little bit harder. Uh, that's probably a big difference maker there. Yeah, let me recall St. Rex, actually. It looks like just a minor issue. Oh, jeez. Now Skype's being dumb. I'm going to have to reopen my Skype. I don't want to miss this gank, though. Possible gank coming up right here. You see in the middle lane, Bubbles, but the flank from Torturer coming out. Bubbles dropping a half-life, pops out the Kel field. There's a comment on a Torturer. It will stall the chase, and down goes nobody because uh, they all survive. So sorry about that, getting uh, caught up trying to do multitask right here. Where be my Skype? There we go. All right, let me call him again here. Do do do. Anyways, eight minutes in, two to two hero kill game. You Hello? there? Hey. Uh, is everything good? Yeah, I think I think that might have been my so my Skype just got really buggy there. So. Okay. But, uh, it should be good now. Alrighty. We are back. But uh, yeah, we saw the. The middle attempt right there on a Bubbles, but Hacks are in again, playing Bubbles and playing it pretty well. Yep. Makes the escape. Oh, so. Andro. Rip. Andro nope. can't escape as easy, but still might be able to as he does. Oh, that was. Yeah. You look at Ophelia's minions, I mean, not the greatest for ganking, no, so. No, definitely not. If that would have been the Scale King, the story would have been different. Oh, yeah. But, uh, Sibic could also just have landed the Elemental Warp, and, and that would have been dead Andro, but. Uh, yeah. 
Well, good positioning from um, from Serena, making sure that uh, Sai is tipping Sibber. So we get ulti on Swift Play top. That means he can actually kill Clanks if he if he gets to catch him outside of a, a wave. And it looks like Torture is trying to make that happen. Bottom lane, mm. Behemoth, oh, he's going to be fine, but... Yeah. yeah, they're trying to go for it at the top lane, but Clanks is a little too defensive there. Yeah. I think Busk fine. is a defensive player by heart. And, yeah. uh, I mean, he likes to sit back and farm, and that definitely makes makes him scary when he gets that uh, hard support, uh, hard carry, sorry, like uh, like a Clanks or Salmon. Bot lane, Flens is uh, really just pushing in. Like, that tower is taking a lot of damage. Yeah. And uh, nine minutes into the game. I'm not going to be surprised if I see, like, when I see, like, Slap rotate down there and they just take the tower and then go straight for... Oh, Bubbles ganking top bottom. Trying to get the Master of Arms down here. Kelfield comes out. There's the heal as well as it even the Master's Call. So they got a lot of global presence right there, obviously. Will it be enough in the end? It doesn't look like it. One more auto attack should do it. There we go. Masera gets credit for it, actually, on a Flens Meister. So he was pushed up really far. Yeah. And they make him pay for that. So despite the Ophelia's touch and the Master's Call, they still come through. But that is something that Druids will have to deal with throughout this game. Yeah, definitely. They need to respond to these uh, tower pushes. If they just let the tower drops, they will get too far behind on gold. And Midas will always have like a pole key sheep stake and just completely shut them down. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> you look at but, your portal key on Legionnaire, by the way. <laughs> he goes straight oh, yeah, into yeah, it. That's a 10-minute pole key. He didn't even go bottle. I'm a no. little bit surprised at that. But um, that means he's very effective right now. Like, Linear starts to really work when he gets his pole key. He has ton level 2, so that's not too shabby. Um, he, he, he's basically able to set up kills now. Yeah. Yeah, he's in a pretty good spot for being a big use for his team. And this is where Legionnaire could definitely start taking off a little bit. Yeah. And start snowballing I mean, here. It, right now he's not doing a whole lot. But as long as you keep in mind that he also he should be able to. That's like, fake. He should, That's fake. I uh, was going to say, that was Zimmy baiting that the whole time. He had a feeling something might have been up. And he was right. He's going to go on a Legionnaire himself. It's not going to be enough damage, though. He needs some help. Torture, maybe. Oh, Can he get in trying. there? No, oh. just out of range. And he'll survive. Meanwhile, Serenia gets picked out on the side. Minus is still chasing. He ends up going back on a bubble, though, but bubble shell surfs away and going to be fine. Uh, so Serenia ends up being the only victim there yep. in the end. But Well, right now, Sync has two pushes going on. A mid push with a Feeler Creeps and a butt push with a Sync Solo Master that's just, like, pushing it in. Uh, oh, what? Ah, that's too early. Uh, what are they doing? Well, they're trying. TP's coming in. There's the Fidger stun. Just timing it with his teammates coming in. The TP and everything else. Ooh. Master's call heal. Not going to be enough in the end, but down goes Legionnaire. And now Bubbles, he's feeling some damage as well. He will survive. Torture, Comet stun. Clanks towards that party. The goon squad's out. Down goes Torture. But at what cost here? Midas jumping in. The Swiss Sasha is the shockwave going out. Midas will fall, but Swift Blade still one alive. But Ophelia, not so much. It's exchanging back and forth. But it looks like Druids will come out on top when it's all said and done. A quad kill for Provosk. And a genocide for Druids in the end. What a battle right there at the bottom. I, that was just, I mean... A little ballsy from Sync taking a fight this early in the game at a, a tier two tower. Um, and oh, are they gonna get that? No, they don't have the catch. No, not right now. At Kisu least. was uh, like 20 mana shy of, of being able to use his um, what's it called? His Q, uh, Blade Frenzy. Mm -hmm. He couldn't get it off, so he basically only had an ulti that fight. They had some damage, but Probos got to sit out that entire fight and just. Pound auto attacks in their face. Yeah. And when clanks get to do that, just like Pub Master, but even more so on clanks, you, you lose the fight. There's there's no hero that can tank that. And you can just see when clanks joins the party again, that goon squad's out. Midas went pretty deep right there. Yeah, they were fighting at a secondary tower 12 minutes into the game. That is really really risky. And yeah, uh, that that's definitely a big factor as to why if Druids came out on top as they did too. But yeah, man, they'll take it. Definitely, uh, the game is pretty much in uh, in like 4K experience this early in the game. That's that's a lot of level uh, on your heroes. Mm, let's see, Behemoth is 700 away from Polki. Oh, there we go. 
That was not the fake one. That That's was the real it. one, and there's the decapitate. So this time it works. Haxor and actually shell surfs through as well. A Legionnaire. He's being chased. Cell Swift Blade doesn't have his R, but he does yeah. have the Q. He has the Blade Frenzy, and that will be a kill. Yeah. There's a good combination right there. The offensive master's call as well. Yeah. Speeding He's, him uh, up. Just the extra speed there, and auto attacks for that matter. Yeah. Hoping to stay on top of them. Both lane. It looks like uh, Sing is trying to get a push in. Slabs is putting up a ward so they will have control of the fight. Also oh. getting a gank. There we go. Easy kill. Yeah, perfect. That's exactly what they need to set up uh, a tower kill. It, this tower kill has taken a lot of resources to get through. Um, however, it, like currently, I, I think it's safe to say that there's that Sing needs to pick up on their strat. Because oh my! Wow! Oh my God, hacks! Bubbles. That is so hacks, cool. Yeah. Uh, okay, so he uses shell serve in the wrong direction. He pours in next to the tower, gets that one last hit to deny the tower, and then he pours to his shell that is yeah. going in the opposite direction. That is just like, I Makes do that as so well. easy with the timing. Too. Yeah, like, it's, this is exactly how you need to play bubbles if you're trying to do it right. Yeah. And it's hard, and he makes it look so, oh my god, that was just perfect. Oh, very well played indeed. So, definitely, uh, again, it's, like I said, he's kind of been on and off on the competitive scene. He's never really been on a team as of late last seasons mm. or so, but, uh, you know, it'd be fun to see him actually truly back and playing on a team committed to one. Uh, moving yeah. forward here, we'll see if this is the beginning of something, but uh, for now, playing it with uh, Druids here in the Onslaught 2 tournament, and Flensmeister in the meantime, though, picking off the Ancients here yeah. on the Hellborn side. That's also nice really steal. big. MOA is really good at taking Ancients. Yeah. And I'm not sure what happened to Sing's own Ancients, but... Uh, they should be stacking them the entire game just because no bubbles. MOA is so good at this. Yeah, but I was uh, kind of watching the bubbles action here. Yeah, he shell served now. Will they get the kill? Because oh. Deep of the Mass is called maybe too. Look at the ass. God, it's like so tough, man. Yeah. Leo that that was, was just the Ophelia's touch and obviously Astral Appeal as well, but. Yep. Jeez. That was just really well played. Like, Axron kind of hoped that Ophelia ulti was off cooldown. Uh, was on cooldown, sorry, but it wasn't, and it gave Torture just enough HP to survive the Bubbles. Like, when Bubbles has used both his spells, he he doesn't deal more than auto attacks. That's kind of, you know, that's how the hero works. Oh, Legionnaire. Sib I think Sib is on. Yeah, he knows he's here. Yeah, they they know he's here, that he's here, and they're going to try to bait him out even. Transmute, yeah, we'll go off. Swift play charging in. Swift slash is easily used. And Ice Lane Gogo didn't really stand a chance, so. Well played. Really well done. And the XD comes out. <laughs> there we go. Uh, Good to see. Banter. Uh, Swift Play, by the way, just purchased a portal key. So he's going to have that here. Oh, yeah, so he is going to, like, just. Yeah, that's. Uh, I, I think Grafix was the one that really made it popular. Um, the portal key, um, Elder Parasite, just yeah. simply to just pull pull key in next to the carry. Then use your spin and your elder parasite and just run down the carry, force him to move. If you if you if the carry is moving, he's not dealing damage. Um, it seems and, like the portal key is definitely stuck, but the elder parasite was kind of like uh, I don't think a lot of players yeah, like that. So we no. see that Kazer here, he's definitely passed it up. But yeah, the portal key is obviously proven to be a very powerful choice, alone on Swift Play for for that reason you're getting at. But the positioning purposes, it's it's very worth it. And it, usually since he's played in more of the secondary carry, you know, even initiator kind of ganking role mm. with the suicide option, so it makes sense. Well, this is going to be a fight. This fight oh, yeah. quite possibly will de determine the game. This is big. Now, Clanks. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it's like they they don't know he's here. There we go. Oh. Jumping with the shock with Swift Blade. Dropping a half life. This touch comes out. But Clanks onto the side of the good squad's out. Master of Arms drops. Down goes Swift Blade as well. Clanks is still plenty full on the life. They will lose Legionnaire as well as Behemoth. And now Clanks actually by himself. Meanwhile, then dropping a bubbles. Trying to do what they can in the flank. But the heals are real. And they are showing here, but now Clanks back up with the Hawk, putting in some more auto attacks, dodging the stun right there. Well played by Probusk. The chase is still on, though. Zimmy wants the transmit. Oh, he he gets it off, and that should be a kill, as it will be. So Probusk was okay. off to a good start there, but a good job by Sink pursuing it and eventually winning the fight in the end. That was Clanks got to deal a lot of damage that fight. He actually got to buy his strong hit just before he died. So uh, that was well done as yeah. well from Probusk. Like, realizing, okay, yeah, it's... 
Time to time to use some damage control here. Um, so he basically didn't lose any money in that, but man, he does a lot of damage that fight. Yeah, his positioning allowed him to do so. Uh, you yeah. know, I want to watch the replay right here real quick because Behemoth, he only jumped, uh, what was it? Was that Torture? Yeah, and they didn't even kill Torture off the bat. So yeah, I... honestly, the Behemoth initiation really wasn't the strongest in the first place. Nope. And the follow-up wasn't really there as well. Legionnaire, you know, he didn't have the greatest eye there. So, yeah, the initiators, if they were a little bit stronger right there, but at the same time, you got to give credit to Sync. They were spread out pretty well Yeah, amongst definitely. the whole fight. So. I feel like if they had, like, Torture is not the target you want to go for. Go for Ophelia and her creeps, or go for uh, MOA. Like, either of those heroes would have been much better targets for Legionnaire and Behe. And, yeah, as you, as you pointed out, the initiation was kind of not... Uh, where it should be. Yeah. And bot lane, Sibba is <laughs> playing ballsy here. Messing with them a little bit, dying. but maybe messing a little too much. Decapitate, not yep. even necessary in the end. So, it's hacks are in. So typical. You know, you get that haste and you're like, all right, I'm, I'm invincible. I'm yeah. I, can, I can do whatever I want. And then all of a sudden you get stunned and yep. your dream comes crushing down. Anyway, uh, B has his polar key. He just needs level uh, 11 for the level 2 ulti. And basically, I, I don't. I don't think if Lydia is on top of that and bubbles with their ball keys, they should be able to burst down just about anyone um, before Ophelia's ulti goes off. Probus cleaning out some ancients right here. He's got the thunderclaw. Obviously, with the shrunken head, very similar. Somewhat, well, I shouldn't say very In fact, you know, one of the biggest criticisms we gave of him against Complexity was that both games against Complexity, he actually built a Null Stone first, even, on top of the Thunderclaw and then whatnot. So, um, okay. he doesn't go the Null Stone here. He actually just goes straight into the Shrunken Head. But, but yeah, he went Null Stone, Shrunken Head into a Frost of Skull one of the games, too. So, it's like he just has massive defensive utility. Yeah. Um to be fair, that game they ended up winning in the end, but it, it just seemed like, man, where's the damage? <laughs> but I mean, Nullstone kind of has its place. You know, it has its place, definitely. Um, but I think Clanks is one of the only carries where you can excuse the Nullstone just because the hero deals so much damage uh, by, it, by its, with its spells. Like, most carries, like, you don't go Nullstone on Dark Lady and you expect to, like, have a good uh, damage output. But on Clanks, he can actually make it work. Like, Nullstone, uh, Shrunken Head is not the worst combination uh, you can find on him. Yeah. But, well, but yeah, I, I, I get what you're saying. Yeah, I mean, the, again, the comparison that I make is that Draconis, and what was he famously known for going, you know, the Nullstone exactly. into Shrunken exactly. off the bat, and then eventually something like a Savage Maze. So yep. that style seems like that's, it does make sense. That is his, that, that's like, when Draconis has these those three items, you just, like, you, you need a, like... I don't know, a Clanks or a very, very fat silhouette to win because yeah. that hero will deal so much damage. It's actually funny how, how much it's falling off. Oh, Top man, lane. Ophelia finds Legion. I thought those were just regular neutral creeps at first. I was like, damn, he's getting unlucky. But no, those were the Ophelia control creeps, of course, and they eventually helped take uh, take down Legionnaire right there. So Keizu assisting a little bit. Keizu just got a kill on Andromeda just before that, too, by the way. So... Doing uh, the Rome thing, minus bottom lane. The chase is on. Not really. Can't uh, chase far enough. So Something very back. important to notice here is uh, Sync is completely taking control of um, of Druid's jungle. There is there is very little places for Brusk to actually farm here. Uh, it's not like Brusk is 450. It's not because he's he's bad or he, he like has an off game. It's because Sync is putting a lot of uh, like they're like look at the wars in uh, in Druid's jungle, like they know what's happening in that jungle and they will keep gank you, uh, keep ganking you if you're in the jungle. Yeah. And that's exactly what you have to do when you're playing against a harder carry. Take control of their jungle so the carry is forced somewhere else to farm, and that's based, that's step one when you're trying to choke people out. Like by you know, when I say choke out, I mean like out farm people. Um, and and take the late game even though you don't have the late the late game heroes um and sync is just doing this really well probusk is changing it up a little bit he's actually going the firebrand here so yeah he yeah. it's almost like he's taking a page out of Imba boy's book realizing that he's such a great <laughs> clings player perhaps and thinking that you know what works very well for him i'm gonna do it myself kind of deal so um he definitely was going much different with his item build on tuesday uh, yeah so. i 
I, I get what you're saying, but it, it makes a lot of sense to me that he's gonna go Geobane um, against the Swift Blade with uh, with ulti and whatnot. Yeah. Um, just so he won't get picked up, picked off when he's farming. Yeah. Maybe it is the matchup purpose in the end. Uh, perhaps it could be. It could, could be. I mean, yeah. So it could also be that Bosk is trying something new. Like I wouldn't put it past him. Definitely. Legionnaire, you know, we mentioned the portal key he got very early on, but I mean, you look at it now, he's, he's literally yeah. sitting on the same items, other than, well, just a bottle on top of that, so yeah. it's his impact has been very minimal here. That's what I was afraid of. I didn't quite get the point passed, but uh, basically it's good to get the portal key, but if you, get, if you go too roam heavy, you won't get any farm, and you're going to be like a 1k... Oh, oh man, speaking of Legionnaire, nice lockdown as well, the Minotaur stun. That was the Swift Slashes to jump. Bubbles trying to see what he can make happen, but again, the spread from Sync, very impressive. They're, it's, they they got the pick, they start falling back, and instead of you know running all the same direction, they kind of spread out and make it so if Behemoth does jump in, they would have ways to kind of respond themselves. Yeah. So. And they're one guy up. Like Legionnaire, one of the, like, oh, that, that was silly. Insania chopping down the trees, and then they respawn like the second half. <laughs> I hate when that happens. Yeah, the 25 minute mark there. Yeah, uh, Clanks is going to hold off. You do see Bubbles. He does have Kelp build off to the side, but once again, it's just like again, it's like we're just repeating ourselves here. But the spread from Sync, very impressive. Not giving them any obvious easy jump here, as they will ultimately just fall back here in the end. Behemoth chasing. They want to maybe try to catch up to this Ophelia or Swift Blade, but. Don't think that's happening. So, notice, uh, notice Sibyl though. He has almost enough for uh, sheep stake, and with the pole key on that, he will be able to initiate on Clanks and lock him down in a combo. That is gonna spell disaster uh, for Druids if he gets to if he gets that combo off. Yeah. Like basically anyone, he can catch anyone uh, with the sheep stake, and that person will most likely die. Oh yeah, you know, with his buff to his ultimate, uh, he does so much more extra damage now as well. It's, exactly. Yeah, you look at the life pool here on the Cellborn side, and <laughs> even Legionnaire of barely 1,200 life. That's really yeah, nothing I mean, that's too not, crazy. So it's not the tanky Legionnaire that we're used to. Yeah. Uh, Slap at this point has probably oh, usually he has. Oh. Speaking of not being tanky. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I was afraid that was going to happen. He he really went yodel there, man. You could tell. He was committed. He's like, screw it. I'm just going to stay in there and hope I killed him first. I, I watched it. I watched him go in him. I was like, you probably can't do that the entire way. But yeah. couldn't he? Was he stuck or something? Or did he just give I, up? He, he might have been stuck initially, but he definitely had an opportunity there after he killed off the first couple to get out. But like I said, I'm pretty sure he just thought to himself, you know, oh, screw it. I'm just going to stay in here, go for the kills. And if it doesn't okay. happen, then whatever. And well, I, mean, I, I mean, happen to catch to him on get camera. Really lucky. That's two spins at least. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah. Um. So probably a little bit of distress here on on Hellborn's side when your leader uh, is having that sort of mentality. Um. I, I don't think they're out of it yet. Like Clanks is very farmed, 580 GPM. Um. He can definitely take this game. He just they need to keep the the racks alive. Should have played not catching B. Uh just barely. Yeah, ports out. Yep. And is good Let's to see. go. There's a geometer spin on Clank, so. As I was saying, a leader at this point usually has um the insanitarius. Like he can pop to get extra armor and like three hundred extra HP. Mid lane. Yeah, jump right here. Kelfo coming out. Does hold torture in place, but you look at torture. That's a support torture. Pretty tanky, but Midas, he can't take that Clank's damage. And now Sink's a little too spread out right here. Been complimenting on that throughout this whole game, but this yeah. time, you know, they're, they're left alone. So torture and too Midas much. get picked off. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not even sure why they would take that fight. Oh, Bubbles? Why are they taking this fight? I don't know about this either, though. Swift, but oh, he just got the stun off. That was clutch oh, timing right there, but the Brutalizer proc oh. the Swift Slashes. It is going to be stopped short, but he gets two kills out of it. Does KZO, and they're looking for a third now. Pro Buster with the party late, and he's going to regret the that bash. completely. The Hawk is not up. The Bash proc, he gets the kill first, but he's going to die when it's all said and done. If he had a Hawk right there, maybe a different story, but he did not have it up, and he ends up going down. It bash and clanks? I think it was. I yep, think it might have been, life. yeah. Uh, well, never lucky. Um... <laughs> I can watch it right here. Not the 
replay up to see once again. But, yeah, I mean, you know, we're just saying, like, what was Sink thinking with the pick of the fight right there? But then all of a sudden, Bubbles and Behemoth try to make something more happen. It's like, and that didn't work. Let's see. Swift play runs back. Yeah, let's see. First hit. Yep. I think it, uh, no, I think it was a Skeletal King net, actually. That oh, actually locked okay. him down, yeah. Right and then right. he ended up rocking it. But oh, anyways. Then it, you know, not just. Yeah. Uh, Andrew's getting caught here in top uh, top jungle. She's and dead. Down she <laughs> goes. So. Midas has his sheep in 100 gold. Yeah. Uh, uh, talking about yeah, that. It's he is getting caught by flanks by quite he quite heavily. I I really I'm thinking he could go um, you know the green uh, what's it called uh, void talisman just because flanks is going to be focusing him a lot. But then again, there's still a B and a, and a bubble. So what just happened there? Yeah, it was a quick kill. They had a veiled rod actually, kind of ganking in there, and eventually both portal get on top of Master of Arms got the kill. Behemoth, he should be fine too. Yeah, he's good to go. As they both get out, but yeah, Legionnaire and Behemoth doing a good job there, coordinating and picking up an easy kill. I wonder what Legionnaire is kind of saving up for because he he's been in this gold range for uh, like up and down because he keeps dying every now and then and. He has nine deaths, actually. Wow, I didn't think it was that much, but, geez, he has had a lot this game. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, just buying something minor, even, just to help start building towards whatever, because I'm trying to think, like, what, what does he build next year? Even if it's, like, a Soul's Bulwark, at least get, like, a ring mail, but... Yeah, I, uh, I was thinking that he could have gone, um, what, uh, the Barbed Armor, but okay. that doesn't fit either. Like, he's still... That's still, like, a lot of stuff he could be buying right now. But... Yeah. I think I think I think Google might be tilty here. I think that's well, obviously. We do have a jump right here. That's a pretty good one off the bat. Shockwave comes out. Barry Rattle was used just before that, though. It gets a lot of damage. And down goes Bam. His clanks gets locked in as well. He gets swapped out from Andromeda. It's a very late swap, though. He's very low on life. And he cannot yeah. stick around much longer. So, Sink, he added again another one fight. Oh, he got oh, blocked oh. right there at the last second. The Hawk wore off. He's still just out of range. Oh. Another Hawk. The Cliff. Use oh, the cliff! Oh my gonna gosh. Gonna the portal key. Down. Yeah, he gets caught. They chase him down. Oh man. Well, good pursue. And now here you go with Sink. Pushing in. How appropriate the just, creep waves here. I was just like, B, he jumped nothing. He jumped a spinning swift plate. Basically. I, I think he might have jumped someone else as well, but no one, like, uh, Im no one really important. And that's like, they. Oh my! Did you see that? Yeah. Sibba had like Sibba clicked um, sheep on the on the enemy guy, and then he jumped in and got instantly hexed. Yeah. Like Legionnaire didn't get even get a taunt. Yeah, he basically he knew that was happening. He he pretty much yep. knew that was happening. He called it out before Iceland Gogo -Go even knew. And <laughs> Zibbe yep. just showing off the smart plays once again. This is a guy that's clearly playing very well. I mean we know he's a great player, but it almost does seem like he's on another level just early on in this onslaught two event. But yeah, team. easily clearing up the racks there. Behemoth is going to fall, maybe. Yeah, he'll go down. You do see Clanks coming back in. So he's going to try to clean things up here, and he could very likely. As, that yeah. was a buyback. I think it's that a was buybacks, in fact. But still. Uh, all right, that's a 7K lead. But um, back to the whole Sibba thing. I mean, that was – he is just – I don't know. I, I, I don't want to – I don't want to – like, Mickey has a lot of uh, – Definitely a lot of credit to him, but I think I think uh, Sib is Sib could be the new uh, best player in the, in the world. Maybe <laughs> whoa, next to Whoa, uh, Saint Rocks. Okay, let's just calm down here a little bit. I'm but uh, yeah, no, I, I'm hey, no. Biased. I mean, your opinion's your opinion, but I, you know, I, again, I also don't want to. You I know, th this is just the beginning of the onslaught too here, and you know, as we're talking about, you know, things are having a break and everything like that, but. I mean, I have, at the same time, I have been a believer that Zibbe has been a very, very quality top-tier player for a longer time now than people even give him credit for it. Just because he hasn't necessarily been on that very set, you know, top-tier team. He has bounced around a bit. I mean, hell, he even played for BMG a little bit, obviously, after, yep. you know, Fuzi passed away and whatnot. So he, he's been playing. He's bounced around a lot of these top-tier teams. Druids, he found a home, it seemed like, lately that he was definitely able to play oh. with quite a bit. It worked out, but... Um, uh, he's in trouble now. Yeah, it's actually Midas getting caught here. Speaking of Zibbe, <laughs> poor guy. Well, God, enough praise Zibbe. of him. I was just praising you, man. Yeah. Why do you do so this to me? So much for that. 
All right, fair enough. Never mind, he's horrible. Fair enough. I, no, I Where get your point. It, it's too early to call. It's too early to call. No, but, um, but yeah, the, the best have... player title, I think, is just like that's. All right, it, it's yeah, okay. There's a, we need to see some more. I, I, I get your point. I agree with it. Um, I sent now is 2.4k. Uh, still not buying anything. Is he gonna go straight for staff? Is it, is this happening, Ricky? I, I think that's a staff I, right right there. I'm gonna ask. Who? What player is known for doing this? That's just like that's perfect. Is it? Is it? Okay. Prob yeah. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. He does that. Anyways, the point is, it's, it's just stupid. <laughs> like, it, it's at a point where it's like they're doing it just because they know it's it makes me frustrated. And yep. They yep. know it annoys people, so they just do it for that purpose. Yep. But it's like if you're that's really cool. going to staff here, why the? No, but no, but obviously, no matter what he's going for, I mean, he should be spending at least some part of that gold. So. Yep. It's, I agree. It could we'll be Shrunken Head, though. I, I wouldn't. Shrunken Head could be pretty decent. Uh, it's going to keep him alive long enough to get his ulti off, at least. Uh, and he played pretty well with the slap build. But, there, okay, so in Sand Terrace. So, basically, saving up that much makes absolutely no sense. Because um, in Sand Terrace, it, it's built of a bunch of small items, and he had plenty of room. Yeah. So, yeah. Silly. But, um, a good pick off. Uh, pick up, sorry, and uh, I'm sure he's gonna follow that up with a shrunken eventually, or maybe even a a, a demonic or a, uh, what's it called, souls bulwark. Um, At least the souls, yeah. But the way he's farming right now, it's gonna be a long time, unfortunately. Yeah. Before <laughs> yeah. he has a whole lot, you know, 35 minutes in, this is all that he has here. So uh, definitely. Look at uh, look at Kizu. He's going a shrunken on top of his uh, yeah uh, on top of his uh, spin. So he is gonna be like. Is that a 10 second? That's 10 second uh, huh. spell immunity right there. Shrunken's an interesting choice on him, I think, here. Um, it will. It, d it definitely does mitigate a lot of the clanks damage, to be fair. Mm -hmm. So what, I wonder I if that alone why. is why he's doing it, yeah. I think that's why, because, you know, it doesn't do anything against uh, Legionnaire. Um, but, yeah, I, I, I honestly think it's just so he can brawl. He can just pop his Shrunken head and keep chasing. Uh, whatever he needs to chase, nothing, nothing can really stop him. Yeah. And I, th I think Kizu has been assigned the task of hunting down clanks the entire game. Um. Yep, I'm sure that is uh, on the agenda here. For, uh, for and actually about Sync too, that's worth really bringing up as well. Once again, is that uh, Kizu again? He kind of seems like he's taking over the leadership role here, yeah. at least as yeah. far as the captaining goes and the drafting goes. So. Um, Again, we're not sure if this is just like a lot of these cases, if this is a permanent thing moving forward, if this is them kind of trying it out, getting a feeler, but we'll definitely have more information on that, uh, you know, as this event shapes up and going into our yeah, I mean, next events um, here. So. I've talked to them uh, a little bit, and uh, they're just, they're, you know, trying it out. Uh, it hasn't gone too well the last couple of lands, um, what's not. Um, and Kizu is, as far as I understand, uh, has been part of the draft anyway, so uh, he's just decided that... Uh, well, they're trying it out at least. Uh, nothing is for certain. It's not like someone was really mad and told the other guys to step down. And nothing like that. It's just, uh, yeah, they're trying it out. And we see uh, a Congo being tried out here for the Legion side. And it lo doesn't look like uh, Druids are putting up much of a fight here, to be honest. Yeah, this should be an easy Congo kill here for Sync. It happens pretty quickly, too. A pretty good Congo kill team at that. And uh, looks like Master, yeah, Master's going to pick it up. We haven't talked too much about Flint's Master this game, to be honest, but he's been just doing his thing. He's got the Shrunken, the Null Fire Blade is level one still, actually, but obviously a great item on Master of Arms, giving him some good carry potential there, too. So um, I, I would like to see him spend the, the 3k before they go into this fight. I, it does make sense to me that they have this much gold pulled up on them Yeah. Uh, when they're going for a base fight. That is true, uh, but... You're looking at what he has. Yeah, at least getting like a level two null fire blade, but uh, that's pretty bad value. Um, if okay. well, if if you're asking me, it, like it only gives you like you have the eight charges. You're not gonna use eight charges on the null fire in a fight anyway. Uh, but upgrade the thunderclaw maybe, like something like that. Charge you could sell the hammer. energizer and get yeah, exactly. Like you, you, basically, you can sell the energizer and get uh, savage mace at this point. I almost, think he wants a savage. Yeah, so he's probably yeah. gonna be just saving up for that here. It looks like. Okay, he doesn't quite have so. it. That's why it's saving up. Yeah, um, but you get my point. He's pulled up a lot of region, uh, gold here. Does no fire? I don't know if you know, but would it actually remove the hawk from? 
from yeah, planks? So. Does it like straight up so. remove it or just it slows them? Okay. I it actually might it, it might remove it because it's a buff that kind of applies to himself. Yeah, uh, that's, but that's it's a, one it, of those funky buffs. Exactly. Is it is it like a, a true buff or is it actually more of like a stance switch almost? So it's not a blue buff, so it should be able to be removed. Okay. I but like Parasite can't jump clanks and take over his fight. I I think his hawk. Like with the with the ulti that seals. Yeah, he he can right. That's he what you said. Can. I, I th don't I think I've ever seen it. it happen. I thought we have seen that in the past, and that so that that if that is the case, right, then yeah, if it should that be is the case, he can definitely purge. Yeah, okay. But you I, know, I, I have never ha never seen oh, it happen. Man, I'm trying uh, to so think that's now. Like, my, uh, my I think we have seen that before, but you know what, Brecky? I think he can. Let's, yeah. let's just. It doesn't oh. matter. He got sheep anyway. Yeah, well, the sheep stick also kind of helps too, but. And I swap, but oh. now the swap's down. Whoa, Legionnaire's like, screw it, I want to make something happen. Behemoth, that's a pretty big shockwave, but the bear out of the heels as well. But the quick kill on a swift play. Behemoth goes down one for one. You do see Probust, though. He's able to get off some good right clicks here. Master of Arms getting off some of his own, though. They take him down from the Hawk. He splits up with the Geometer's Bin. It's not going to matter. Down goes Clanks. He does have a buyback. He uses it immediately. So does Behemoth. He jumps back in. Master of Arms will fall. Token going to bring him up. It is just him and Ophelia. I'm not sure why Druids is thinking about falling back in. They should be going right here as they are Ophelia is gonna be picked off master of arms he may still be in some trouble actually they got some pretty good chase right here and yeah he is gonna be found oh Kenny TP out's the question oh nice take cover right there there's a storm spirit he's probably gonna be dying right here yep clanks on top of him and oh <laughs> it took a little bit but they did take him out all right so well uh, but that was Clank's last buyback, though. Yes, it was. Um, and that means next fight, that little magic trick will not be able to save them. Uh, question is, will they get enough farm to not have the same thing happen? Um, <laughs> Clank's is going to have his wing pole, but MOA is going to have his uh, Savage Mace mo more than likely. I'm not sure. It's it's looking pretty pretty tough for Druids here. I, I don't think they're going to be able to take get any good like big pickoffs that will change the game um, in a way that Clanks will not be able to <laughs> need a buyback. And Token is, like Kong is not going to be respawning in the next five minutes at least. Yeah. If I was sync right now, I would just go uh, push the uh, press the issue at bottom. Yeah, they got the middle cleared out. Dark armor. Hmm. But that was really like, it was a ballsy jump from Legion in the fight. But it actually paid off like I I'm pretty sure he didn't die um I think he actually got out with some toggles uh from the with the insane terrorist legionnaire yeah, yeah um he got let's see low. actually okay here's there's a replay it's later on in the fight um yeah you're right he does stay alive in the background yeah he toggled the insane terrorist there he kind of just sits in the background doesn't do a whole lot <laughs> he's like waiting for a time to go in yeah. um he never really finds it it looks like yeah, he kind of just sits back the whole time. So, so to be fair, yeah, he survived, but he really didn't do a whole lot okay. <laughs> as far as activity goes. No, but usually you get punished by being like, yeah. I'm, I'm saying it wasn't as reckless as we made it out to be because he yeah. actually survived. Um, True. But it, uh, yeah, he, he didn't do much with it. But, yeah, at least he didn't die. Uh, he, got, he got enough money to get a barbed armor, and he will be able to put... Quite a lot of damage. He could probably solo MOA, uh, MOA at this point mm -hmm. um, if he jumps with the barbed armor. <clears throat> MOA has 700. That means like the engineer just needs to deal like uh, 1k damage to MOA. That should be possible. Then he can chop his head off. <laughs> that's that's the plan right here. We'll say no fire blood. Of course, it does purge off the barbed armor. I know that for certain. So. Oh yeah, yeah. So <laughs> if Linear doesn't get to jump, then uh, like yeah, then he's gonna get wrecked. There's the Savage Mace the thing that is pointing is, out. It's 18. Like, he's 18 compared to Andro, and be, he's really far ahead on XP, I, I feel like, as a, as a su hard support torture. Yeah. And he also has quite a bit of farm to his name at this point. Yeah, he definitely does, actually. Not too bad at all. Sack stone and the tablets so some good utility for the team. Yeah. Uh, with the aura and the help of the tablet, of course. So, yeah, he's... 
And again, Torture Hero, especially getting level 16, very impactful compared to a lot of these other support heroes where it's just, you know, a minor buff in the end. But um, for him, I mean, he, he could just shout some pretty intense damage here. Look at with this. That ultimate this up. is like, they like swapped out their, their map hat hops here. We got the uh, sync on the Hellborn side. And oh, Legionnaire, no! Wow, Legionnaire going really aggressive right there, almost blind like. Stun on Andromeda off to the side. There's the Swift Slash's pop. Riddle proxy. Pops a Geometer Span. Give him more targets. And that worked out pretty well. Swift plays now. Takes a good damage. He's going to end up falling. Yeah, the Lackey doing work. That was a big jump from Behemoth on the background. He got Master. He got Ophelia. And it reads. And right now, Druids, excuse me, that a grace. Bought the Barbed Armor also doing some work. He does go down to his Legionnaire. But a definite victory for Druids. A hat trick for Probusk. As Midas, the sole survivor. But, well. Wow, this game is still definitely plenty left in it. Sip is up. Sip is out for blood here. He's gonna spot it and he's gonna go for it. Yeah, he should be able to get the skill by himself, easy. So free kill at least at the end. But Busk well, picked up a symbol of rage. Yeah. So this might be enough sustainability. It's in, in like currently they are not locking him down in fights. I see him just standing there dishing out damage. If that's the if that's the case. That's a trend that continues. Bosk will not go down with that uh, with that symbol. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, no, he's already yeah. They've had trouble killing him already, obviously. So now symbol is just gonna pretty much stall that all together. And uh, you know, I will say, man, that jump from uh, Masera right there on Behemoth. We've been mentioning things been spreading yeah, out very well throughout this game, but you got a massive I, I jump right there. I feel like if if Sib had been ready when they caught Legion there, like Sync did not expect. Uh, <laughs> to run in uh, to the uh, to druids in that position, but Sing had such a great position. They were uphill. They saw them coming. They just if they had reacted a little bit better, I want to say that fight would have been entirely Sing's. Um, but they simply did. They didn't expect it. Yeah. Um, so they weren't prepared. Maybe the blind initiation there from Legionnaire ended up working out for the better. <laughs> yeah, I mean he just. He took, uh, I think, like, Swiftblade used a lot of, t uh, spent a lot of time on him, and Clanks' um, Geobane really saved him against the ulti from uh, Kizu, so, yeah. Um, it just panned out really well for Druids. Yeah. And there's barely any, like, it's pretty close to this game, at, at this point. Uh, it's a 4k deficit, and 46 minutes in, that's nothing. Oh, yeah, no, uh, you know, again, there's a couple of key factors, definitely. There's a no buybacks on Clanks is huge, and then the middle racks that's being true. down for Sync. I mean, so Sync definitely has the overall advantage here, but mm -hmm. you lose another fight like that, and uh, Druids can definitely push in. I mean, I think this next Conga are going to be that obviously very important, as it always would be. Uh, yeah. But if Druids manages to get that token as well on Clanks, or, oh, I don't even know if you give it to Clanks at this point. I guess it's really not I better on anyone else. Yeah, I think you sell uh, your bottle on Clanks, and then you just, uh, yeah, play a little bit more ballsy. Yeah. Um, also, the token on Clanks uh, allows him to go hit on towers without being uh, being afraid of getting initiated on. Usually, when you siege base, um, you're afraid of getting initiated on because the enemy team can see you and you can't see them, mm -hmm. and that's why you need the token um, to siege base. And um, at this point, Clanks is going to have long range and. Oh, nothing happened. It's just leading your chant. Um, at this point, Clanks is gonna have what 650 range, and uh, wing boat, and yeah, I think he's just gonna be able to take the tower if he gets that token. Yeah, top lane bubbles. So oh, whoa. the jukes. That was close. Well played right there with the portal key. In fact, he's thinking about maybe going back in. He doesn't have a sheep stick there, already. and actually, oh, no. Bill's a, he has a thunderclaw. By the way, Where did that oh, happen? No. He must have got that very recently here. Because uh, that's actually they will jump. Oh, that was a little uncoordinated, but they get the kill nonetheless. Um, but I was going to say with uh, the Thunderclaw on Bubbles, that's a little interesting. Um, basically, you only have Clanks on um, on the Hellborn team that actually deals damage. And so Hackstrom has decided to go for, like, he has the Storm Spirit. That's basically all they need to save Clanks in teamfights. And but they also need some more damage. Like Clanks can't be the only guy that dish out damage. Um, and oh, I, I think Hax is just recognizing that and going for an auto attack sort of build. And he has almost. Oh, well, wait, hold on. What? He placed. 
Something on the ground? Uh, the bottle, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. It was Clanks's. It was Clanks Thunderclaw. Oh, you're right. That makes so much more sense. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's not. It wasn't grayed out on the side, so. It, uh, I oh it, yeah, I, I just, just realized that that Thunderclaw was like. Yeah. I mean, the build up. Sense. I st I stand by what I said. I think it wouldn't be bad on Bubbles to get something like to uh, dish out some more damage, but it the build up with like a uh, Striders tablet and Stone Spirit into into a Thunderclaw that doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Yeah. He does have 5,100 gold saved up. So the obvious choice here, you think, would be a sheep stick coming out. Yeah, yeah, I, th I think so. I think so as well. Um, so that's going to be happening in the yeah. near future. That's going to be huge as well. Uh, that sheep stick, like basically, it comes down to what team initiates, and at this point, yeah. Uh, if Bubbles and Legionnaire and B gets good initiation, I'd say Druid is going to win the fight. And if not, obviously, uh, Sing is going to be taking the fight. Let's see. Um, so it comes down to Sibba. He is basically the one man uh, initiation. It all comes down to for Sync. And on the Hellborn side, we have uh, three players that can all make it, make it happen. Yeah. A lot of pressure on Sibba here. Yeah, Clank's now at the post haste as well. Going to oh. be delivered to him. So as this He's fully boots. farmed. Yeah, he's fully, fully slotted. Good to go here, definitely. Behemoth, 3,200 gold saved up on him. He went the spell shards route. Uh, with that portal key, so Resto Stone may make some sense here on Behemoth, perhaps. But oh, yeah, yeah, a I, I'd that. say so, definitely. But um, yeah, no, no, I, I would, I would be going for Resto. You, I mean, Resto and Behe doesn't do the same as a Resto and Tempest, in my opinion. Uh, usually, it's just it sounds so great on paper, like having a Resto and Behe, but in my experience, it. It's not as great as it sounds. Yeah. Uh, but it, it's still, I think it's the item to go for here. Um, don't get me wrong. Top yeah. lane, Gizmo is pushing Raxus. Um, he is. Now, what are they going to do about it? They're kind of pushing a bot of themselves. They won't actually catch Torture. The tower is taking oh. some good damage as well. There you go. Swift Blade's pointing back. Minus his middle as well. Minus going right for the throne. Is he having a TP? Oh, he's buying yeah. one. That's why. Okay. So he's gonna buy TP. He's not gonna port back just yet either. Uh, he's gonna push it out. I think. He's kind of giving yeah, his team a little yeah. bit of chance at the top lane, I guess. But it's not cool. To, no, he is finally TPing back. Okay, so they get the bottom tower. Oh, there we go. But there's the jump from Swift play. That oh brutalizer proc bubbles got caught as well. As soon as he jumped in, he was trying to save his teammate, and Hacker will fall on top of it. And a two oh, for nothing lucky. exchange. The chase is on. Not going to get anyone in the end, but Sync definitely winning that whole exchange right there. Jumped into a torture stun. That's so unlucky. Yeah. Yeah, he was trying to save. Yeah, I don't. I know for a fact that Kisu keeps track of Conquerors. He's like, he prints out the in-game time when Conqueror falls, so they know exactly when Conqueror respawns. Uh, I'm not sure if that happens anytime soon, but they're definitely in the area. And Andromeda gets caught out right here with the creeps on there as well, so not really much chance to get away from that. Sheepstick on a clank, big chance. Sink, and they lock him down long enough. Legionnaire comes in, says kill me instead, plays good. Squad comes out, the damage is real once again. Swift play dropping pretty quickly. Swap out on a Legionnaire right there. Behemoth jumps in with a shockwave, catches Ophelia. Ophelia is dropping quickly. She will barely survive. Clank, however, gets caught, and he does go down. But the token again, going to bring him right back up right here. Torture. Does end up falling. No, my gosh, he's still alive. In fact, Clanx is now in trouble. And Master of Arms, the auto attacks from him are definitely real. Look at the illusions, though. The illusions may actually kill him. Oh, no, he's going to live. Wow. Oh, oh is he? Is, is he? Oh, oh. God, that was so close. 40 life or so for Master of Arms, but he does manage to actually survive. And, uh, and they stay alive right here. So, whew. Man, Druids is. Oh, GG's was called, but. Uh, oh, was it? Oh, yeah, yeah, he did say GG, but. I mean, yeah, it's. I, I can understand. Don't give up just yet. I mean, they have lost. Like, basically, their mid is super as exposed as can be. Uh, oh, by the way, um, a helpful viewer uh, tested uh, our Parasite uh, Clanks discussion in uh, practice mode, and it is perchable, and Parasite can steal it. So there you have it. Oh.
Well, there we go. So apparently, uh, yeah. I talked about that earlier. Yeah, no, I was going to say, I, I really could have sworn we have actually seen that before. I remember being like, wow, that's really funky. But it's uh, with the whole stealing the hawk ability. So. Oh, and on that note, shout out to FDE8, the guy who tested it. Appreciate it, go. man. There and, uh, you go. Oh, Shipley just bought a Savage Mace. Okay. Yep. So he is also getting close to just being able to... Oh, no, Serenia. Did you see last fight? Swiftblade bounced almost all his bounces on an Andromeda that has his ulti, like, 50 armor up on him. So he... Swiftblade's ulti almost didn't do anything. Oh, that really? was, I was like, what? Yeah, the, the Andro buff, man, with that ultimate yeah. swap. It's yeah, it's really big. strong. Yeah, I'm watching the replay right here. I I got, it's about halfway through already, though, so Andrew's already dead at that point, yeah. But, oh, okay. uh... Yeah, see, the well, solution's it, almost it, killing Master. Oh, no. Legion just bought post-haste. I think their focus should not be to, like, what they're going to do after they win the fight. Their focus should be to win the fight. Yeah, they're trying to backdoor. Right. Oh, but this could be huge. MOA. Oh, the block. Okay, there's actually a pretty big initiation. Master Ross picked up huge. right off the bat. Goon Squad is up. The Illusions are out as well. The Storm Spirit on a Torture. I'm pretty sure they wanted that Master of Arms, though. So Torture goes down shortly after. Midas now caught out. The Clank's damage is definitely real. However, the Transmute onto him will stall him somewhat. The similar rage, though. It's popped. His Storm Spirit puts him in the air, but he comes right back down. He's still barely alive. Will he be alive for oh long God. enough? Swift play the procs. Yes, Aww. he goes down. Too much damage from Swift play coming out. So despite the quick burst on a Master of Arms, they still have plenty of damage, specifically from Swift Blade coming out I mean, right there. That was just well played from Flens as well. He doesn't have any more buybacks, by the way. But uh, buying back and porting onto the, I think you know, he put on a, an Aphelia Creep or something, getting a pole key as well to get as fast in there as possible. I was like, uh, yeah, it actually won them a fight. Yeah. Oh, there goes there the Rax. There goes the Rax, Rip. Behemoth, Void Talisman. I mean, it's is oh. not going to matter. <laughs> he goes oh. down as well, and there we go. And, <laughs> oh, oh my god, I, I was not even watching that. <laughs> yeah, I was like, wait, do they concede or something? But no, that's yeah. the good old-fashioned way right there. Ain't, ain't often the game ends that way, but um, it, it sure sure does. They kill the Shrine and thus sink win. So whew, it was a battle. I mean, it definitely was not an easy victory in the end, and uh, you see, Drew has just did a really good job of grinding that one out, man, and making it last for a long time and giving themselves a chance, but... Sync does pull through when it's all said and done there. Yeah, pretty like uh I I feel like Druids might have been like uh, a little tilty this game, but really like they're showing promise. Like they're st they're making Sync work for this. Um and I'm saying that as uh as Sync is still like every like the best team in the world, which they might not be. Um but Druids are like All right, let me just start that over, Becky. Um I want to say that after the stream hack, or maybe even before the stream hack, we, we got to know that they're so... Like, for the first time in Han's history, we have, like, a lot of people that are all fighting for the first place, right? Like, usually, it, it used to be, like, Stay Green, Fnatic MSI, uh, TDM, all these, like, like Sync, for that matter, as well, um, that usually just were sitting dominantly on the top. And now we have so many people, so many teams that can compete for the number one spot. I really like this. Um, yeah. And I think this game kind of also shows that Sync is not just having a cake walk to the, fr to the front pl place anymore. No, yeah, again, we have definitely been seeing that later on in the last season and uh, into these playoffs here and into the, into the dream hack, of course, that we just had was a prime example of that, if anything. And definitely the competition right now is as even as it's ever been on the Hawk competitive yeah. scene. So that, that does make it definitely a little bit more exciting, knowing that one team isn't going to be absolutely outright dominating uh, one or two teams even like we have had in the past. So um, we definitely see that here. But in the end, Sync does pull through. Obviously, they do get the victory, and they are up one nothing. Yeah, this uh, after this game. So we're going to take a short break. Looks like game two. We're already in the lobby and everything. So we'll be right back, guys. Stay tuned. Game number two going to be coming at you here. Sync versus Druids here for the onset.